I wanted to do a quick little video on the Citadel painting handle, or as it's known in internet circles as the Citadel butt plug. Um, it's called that because of its unusual shape uh, at the handle grip. All jokes aside, I think this is going to be a fun little tool to use. So as we first look at it, you can tell, and it's hard to show you on this, but you see how it pulls apart? It has some really strong springs in there where it grips the sides of the miniature's base. Yep. Pretty easy to use if you've got two hands. Um, they do advertise that it will hold their 25 millimeter rounds, their 40 millimeter rounds, and their 32 millimeter rounds. But they do not say whether it will hold anything else. We'll test that later on. First up is a High Elf um, from the Donna, the Donna Spire set, I believe. But yeah, he's on a 20 millimeter round and he fits just fine. He's not going anywhere. Next up is a Space Marine from the First Strike box set. And he's on his 32, and that fits quite comfortably in there too. And here's my Forge World Commander Cone. He's on a 40 millimeter round, and he fits really snug in there too. However, I am probably gonna have to retouch up the yellow around his base because this did scratch up the paint job. Didn't think about that before uh, I put them on there. So we know that the Citadel paint handle will support GW's current range of bases. But what about bases from their past? Those old square bases from Warhammer Fantasy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a High Elf from 3rd Edition um, Fantasy. And we're going to put it on the handle itself and try it out. So as you can see, square base fits in there pretty snug. I have no reason to doubt a 40 millimeter square base wouldn't also fit, or a 25 millimeter square. I just don't have any of those handy to test out. So let me try something that'll be useful to our hex basers out there. This is a one and a half inch hex base uh, with a Battletech miniature on it. And he fits quite well in there. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to use it for Battletech miniatures. But I'm happily wrong. So what's stopping you from just using a wine cork and some sticky tack, poster tack, whatever, blue tack, and just putting the model on top? Nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, that low tech solution is pretty handy. Um... Where I would say that the Citadel painting handle wins, though, is how well it grips the miniature. It's not going to go anywhere. However, if you paint your miniatures in segments, like you chop them up uh, or paint them limb by limb or however you do it, if you don't assemble the miniature all together in one go, then paint it that way. This may not be as useful to you um, in the long run. You could still probably be very creative with how you use it, i.e. like pinning pieces to a base or something like that. Um, but I, that might be more trouble than it's worth. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. Overall, I think it feels good. It's lightweight. Um, I'm glad I got it. I'm going to definitely be using it and ditching the cork there in the blue tech because I've had my models fall off that cork too many times. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you have one, you use it. I'm interested in hearing your stories about it. And if you're curious about the product and you had you weren't willing to take the chance, I hope this helps you make that decision um, whether to go ahead and invest in it or, or pass and stick with cork or however you currently do it. Have a good one.